heritage tourism, like ecotourism, like any other form of tourism, can be sustainable and responsible, or in fact, it can be the opposite. And one of the, the challenges that we have as we try to promote visits to heritage sites, whether it's archaeological or churches or museums, um, is that we're really challenging the caring capacity of a lot of these places. And so, in fact, even though we're encouraging people to do something that's good, i.e. understand, uh, appreciate heritage in its many forms, it really is not necessarily uh, sustainable because of the, of the pressures that it places. If local people don't benefit from visitations to their community, their region, again, I would say it's not sustainable. Where we're trying to build up the idea that it's not just the protection of the resource, which many countries are quite good at, but then how do we actually manage the tourists, not just in terms of making sure they don't destroy the site, but how do we tell the story? I really worry that at times the indigenous people um, are treated more as curiosities, as tourism attractions. And so you go and visit, and it's the old phenomenon that a lot of us in Heritage have talked about for a long time, of zoo tourism, where we actually go and watch these people as if they were in a zoo kind of environment. And I think the challenge is, is that the tourism has to come from the local people. Do they want it? Do they see it as benefit to them? And then how do you develop a form of tourism which respects cultures, values, waves of life, privacy, all these other things? Um, I don't think it's ever going to be very large, but I think if it's done properly, it can be really important for the livelihood of Indigenous people.